This will be a demonstration of our TEC auto test app. And the first step is we'll launch that app. And, and it brings us to a projects page. And you can think of a project as a house. And each house can contain a number of different test files. And we can sort those projects by either alphabetically or by date. We can also delete a project by, by clicking on edit and then um, clicking on, on the circle in front of one of those and then clicking on the trash can and that will, that will edit it. And then clicking done. We can also add a, a project by clicking on the plus sign over in the corner here. Um, we can also make a copy of a file and, and where you might wanna do that is if you've done a test for a builder uh, building and you wanna test another building um, you can make a copy of that. That way you already have that customer information in there and uh, and you can carry that over to the next one by making a copy by clicking on the icon on the right here. Um, next we'll look at the, the information page and uh, about will tell us what version of, of the app we have. Uh, help will give you information and helping you uh, through using the app. Um, if you're having trouble with the app, you can send us an error report and, and then that will allow us to help diagnose the problem. And if you have feedback, if you, you, you know have suggestions on improvements, we're always looking for that. Any feedback you have on the app is welcome and you can send that to us uh, by clicking that. So then we'll go over to the settings page and you can see we've got flow devices here, the Model 3 blower door and, and duct blaster. Um, you can you can edit those, you can subtract or, or add more, and you could enter the serial number in there if you'd like. And then the purpose of tests could be you can you can edit the so you can edit the label and the, decide whether you're doing an envelope test or a duct leakage test, uh, whether you're doing a multi-point test or a, or a single uh, point test. And then I'll I'll open the ResNet one here. Um, we can see we can choose between pressurize and depressurize. And if you want uh, a leakage uh, metric and a target to show up in the report, you can you can show these. Otherwise, you could choose none. But in this case, we chose air changes per hour and three. And then right in the bold in the center of the report, it will show um, that the target is three air changes per hour and what your results were from the test at maybe 2.5 air changes per hour and that it passes. So that information for the building official um, will be there. Okay, and then we'll go back to the settings page. Um, the additional settings you would put in here are um, your tech, the technician information. So your information, your credentials, BPI, ResNet, etc. cetera, um, your email address, and then your company contact information. And then that will all, you only have to enter that in once and that'll show up in the report. Okay, now we're run, ready to run a test. So we'll go back to projects. And now for the project screen, um, this is our list of houses. So it, we're, we're at a, a different house ready to do a blow at our test again. Um, this house happens to be one for the same builder. So we're just gonna make a copy. So we'll click on, on the copy icon and uh, we'll add the address to that. So we know which house we're at. Click okay. Okay, now we'll, we'll open that one. Okay, um, so then we can, you know, we can always change the name of this by, by changing that. And, and we're at a new building, so we're gonna click on, on um, um, and we'll determine that location of our new building. And then choose current, use current location. And then use this address. Now it just populated the longitude, latitude, altitude, timestamp fields, and it, it carried that address over uh, for into our report. So we'll go back. Okay. And we'll go back one more time. And now we're gonna do a blow at our test. So we'll click on that one. And um, We've got our volume entered in our, here already. We're going to depressurize the house. Uh, three air changes per hour is our target. So we will choose uh, run test. Okay, and connect to our gauge. 
idle monitoring. So we're um, we're ready to start our test. So we'll click start test. We'll enter in our indoor and outdoor temps. And it brought in our altitude, so we'll go continue. Okay, we're it's prompting us to cover our fan, so we're covered, so I'll hit continue. Now it's measuring our baseline, so we can see it's gathering our, our baseline information. It'll take 10, cent, 10 um, seconds worth of data as required by the standard. And um, now it's prompting us to uncover uh, the fan to continue, so I'll hit continue. And we're going to go to ring B. And click OK. So we can see it's it's starting up our, it's ramping up. Um, we can see our pressures, our first target pressure is 60 pascals, so it's searching for 60. It's adjusting the fan to 60 pascals. And sampling data. Okay, now it'll start going towards 48. Now it's sampling uh, the data for our 10 pascal pressure. And our test is all done. So we'll click, uh, yes, we'd like to see our report. All right, so we can see right uh, our, our leakage target is three. We're at 2.24 air changes per hour, so it passes. It also has our CFM 50 number here and, uh, and additional information besides all of our data. So now we could email that report. So you can see we've got email here, or we could, if we've got Google Drive or Dropbox, we could send it up to the cloud also. For additional information about TEC Auto Test, check out the help menu within the app, or for additional information, check out our website at energyconservatory.com.